Is there anything relevant that comes from this that would be, again, a practical use to people who most people fear cancer? It seems to be more common than it was in the past. Um, again, is there something that comes from this particular insight um, that our listeners could um, take to heart? Well, basically a uh, highly proliferating cell which is off-program is a messed up cell physiologically. It's sort of a junky, out-of-control criminal cell. So think of like the most degraded, low IQ, brain damaged, addled criminal you can imagine. And there you have a metaphor for a cancer cell. So you can ask yourself, well, here you have this really crappy, out of control, off program cell. How is it best going to survive? Well, the simpler the nutrients it has in its environment and the more abundant they are, the better off that criminal cell will be. And what is the easiest type of nutrient for cells to process and run away with? And that would be lots and lots of simple sugars. So if you are bathing your body in lots and lots of simple sugars, you're doing all of your cancer cells a favor by making it easy for them to go on with their degraded, disordered lifestyles. So my point of view, one conclusion I derive from that is this supports the very earliest signs of epidemiological evidence that associates the consumption of simple sugars with the spread of cancer in Western populations and in other populations. I'm not saying that the epidemiological evidence is definitive. I'm not saying that this hypothesis is definitive. I'm saying, boy, if I were a degraded cell intent on a criminal lifestyle, to speak metaphorically, what I would want is as much easy to slurp up nutrition as I can get. Mm 